Samsung finally dropped One UI 7, and let me tell you, it's not just another routine update. Hidden features, slick redesigns, some weird removals, and even a couple of moves that might seriously annoy you. But here's the twist. What looks like a simple update might actually supercharge or sabotage your Galaxy phone depending on how you use it. Intrigued? You should be. Welcome back, viewers. Stay here. Hit that like, share this video with your Galaxy gang, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech drops like this one. All right, picture this. You just updated to One UI 7. Your phone's feeling fresh. Animations are smoother. But should you factory reset it now? Most people don't, but if you've been running the same setup for nearly two years without a reset, this could be the secret to getting your battery life and performance back on track. Still feeling smooth? Cool, skip it. But if your device has been dragging lately, it's worth the reset. Now let's talk hidden gems. Ever heard of Gallery Labs? It's basically Samsung's secret experimental playground. Flip it on and boom, you can unlock quirky tools like the Add Search tab that drags the search bar to the bottom of the screen for easy one-hand action. Need to edit and scroll through images at the same time? You can split screen your gallery. Yeah, your phone just got smarter. Speaking of smart, Samsung added a ninja level move, app archiving. It's like putting apps in deep sleep without losing your logins. So if Facebook is just chilling in the background, you can archive it, free up space and bring it back later. No password hassle. But here's a surprise twist that's got people confused. Remember AR Zone? Yeah, it's gone from the camera app, but not totally dead. You just have to grab it manually from the Galaxy Store now. Want Avatar stickers, Quick Measure, or AR Doodle? They're still alive, just kidding like Easter eggs. Next, the Quick Panel. Now split into two pages, one for toggles, one for notifications. Some folks love it, others, not so much. If you miss the old setup, you can actually mash them back together in settings. Flexibility, unlocked. Scrolling through apps feels different. That's because your app drawer is now vertical and alphabetical by default. But hey, if your team horizontal swipe, you can flip it back, your layout, your call. Now here's where it gets real nerdy in a good way. Battery protection settings just leveled up. Instead of one boring toggle, now you get a slider, cap your charge at 80%, 85%, 90%, or 95% to keep your battery healthy long-term. Want more security? There's now a setting that blocks USB connections if your phone's locked for an hour. Say goodbye to sketchy USB tampering. But don't stop at the update alone. After installing One UI 7, update your apps in both the Galaxy Store and Google Play. Yeah, even the system apps. It helps avoid bugs and ensures full compatibility with the new features. Oh, and if you haven't explored the good lock suite yet, now's the time. HomeUp especially is packed with fresh options, like customizing animations, tweaking folders, and even adding spice to your edge panel. Pure Samsung magic. Now let's shift to the rollout timeline. It's a mess, to be honest. Galaxy S23 FE, just got it. Galaxy S24 series, only the unlocked US models are getting it right now. Carrier locked phones, still in line, and yep, people are frustrated. It's April 2025, and we're still not done pushing Android 15 out. Meanwhile, rumors about One UI 8 are already heating up. You remember that right. We're just unboxing 7 and 8s knocking at the door. It's wild. Samsung says by the end of May, One UI 7 will hit a huge lineup. Galaxy Z Fold 5, Flip 5, Tab S10 series, S23, and the upcoming S24 FE. Then comes Z Fold 4, Flip 4, S22, a 35. Basically, a whole Galaxy family. But can we trust the schedule? If the last few months are any clue, I take it with a grain of salt. Delays, weird surprises, region locks. Samsung's update game has been all over the place lately. So here's the deal. If you've already got the update, dive into the features and fine tune your setup now. I haven't gotten it yet. Stay calm, updates are rolling out gradually. And hey, maybe, just maybe, you'll get to fully enjoy One UI 7 before One UI 8 swoops in. We'll keep tracking the rollout and cover all the quirks, features, and hidden stuff Samsung slips in. Catch you in the next one.